We're out in the field today to show you how to set the diopter and the inner pupillary distance specifically for your eyes. Let's get started. First thing I want you to do is look down on the binocular here at the diopter setting. Make sure it's at zero. That's where you want to start it. If you're wearing glasses, make sure that the eye cups are turned all the way down. If you're not, let's start with them all the way on the up position. All right. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure the barrels are aligned to the entrance pupils of your eyes. So when you bring it up, have the binocular all the way out, bring the barrels together till you get one clear circle. If you want to, move them out a little bit again, you'll see them separate, and that way you'll know that you've got the one clear circle. Now let's set the diopter. By covering the right barrel, I want you to keep both eyes open, and you need to find something with a lot of detail, about 20, 30 yards away. A brick wall, pine tree, something that um, just got a lot of intricate detail that you can really get tack sharp focus on. I'm going to use that fence post right there. I can see some bob wire. I want to make sure that I get that tack sharp. So with both eyes open, we're only going to use the central focus wheel. And I'm looking through the left barrel with my left eye. Once that's tack sharp, let's take the cover off the right. Let's put the left on using just the right barrel now and the diopter setting. You're not going to touch the central focus, just the diopter. Focusing on that same exact fence post, I'm going to move the diopter back and forth until it's tack sharp. I'm going to take a look at my personal setting, which is always right to the, uh, right the beginning of the minus sign. That now has corrected the difference between my right and my left eye. And now the lenses in these barrels move in tandem, perfectly set for each eye. Once that's done, just use the central focus. You don't need to touch that diopter unless it got moved or you lend it to somebody else and you put it right back to your personal setting. And if you don't, it's going to cause excessive eye strain. Your eye is going to overwork constantly trying to find focus and the barrel is not going to be set for your eye. Next video is on eye relief. Check that out. We'll show you how to get the full field of view if you wear glasses or if you don't.